Let's have a look at an example of using the multivariate chain rule. And here we're told that z equals t cubed plus 3t squared x squared. So therefore, in this case, z is a function of x and t. And we can also represent that on a tree diagram as follows. In turn, we are also told that t cubed plus x squared equals 2t plus tx. And we're wanting to find dz dt. Now, because we're wanting to find the derivative of z with respect to t, for this second expression here, we will consider x as a function of t, rather than, for instance, t being a function of x. And therefore, we can also include this on our tree diagram. And at this first stage of our tree, z is a function of two variables, x and t. So on this first branch, we'll be wanting to find day z, day x, the partial derivative of z with respect to x. And going along this branch, we'll be wanting to find day z, day t. At the second branch here, x is a function of a single variable t, so there we'll be wanting to find the full derivative dx dt. And putting this together, it follows that what we're looking for dz dt, going along the first branch, is going to be partial derivative dz dx times the derivative dx dt, plus going along the second branch, partial derivative day z, day t. So let's start by just working out our partial derivatives of z. So partial derivative of z with respect to x. Treating t as a constant, so t cubed is going to become 0. And the next term, 3t squared x squared, will become 3t squared times 2x. Therefore, that will simplify to give day z day x equals 6t squared x. Similarly, to find day z day t, we're now treating x as a constant. So that will become 3t squared for the first term plus 6t x squared. Now, we also had the expression t cubed plus x squared equal to 2t plus tx, and we use that to find the full derivative dx dt. So that is not a partial derivative, so here we're treating both x and t as variables, and because it's dx dt we want, we're going to differentiate term by term with respect to t. And when we do this, the derivative of t cubed with respect to t, that's just 3t squared. But what is the derivative of x squared with respect to t? And that's actually going to be, by an ordinary chain rule, the derivative with respect to x of x squared times the derivative of x with respect to t. And then on the right-hand side, differentiating 2t with respect to t, that's straightforward, that just becomes 2. But looking at this expression tx, that's actually a product. So that's going to be the derivative of t with respect to t, which is just 1 times x. And then by the product rule, that's then going to be plus t times the derivative of x with respect to x multiplied by dx dt. That is, what we've done with this last part is when we were differentiating tx, if we think of that as a product uv, then by the product rule, that becomes u dashed, which in this case was 1 when we differentiated t, times v, which was still x, plus u, which was t, times v dashed, where the derivative of x with respect to t will then take this form. So now we can simplify this whole expression further to see that we now have 3t squared. Now the derivative with respect to x of x squared is just 2x, so that term becomes 2x dx dt. 
tidying this up becomes 2 plus x plus t times the derivative of x with respect to x is just 1. So that just becomes t times 1 times dx dt. So you'll now notice we have an expression which contains dx dt in a couple of places. So we rearrange this to make dx dt the subject, which means on the left hand side we had 2x dx dt and we subtract t dx dt from both sides to bring that to the left side of the equation. And on the right hand side we put all other terms so that we have 2 plus x minus 3t squared on the right. We can then take dx dt out as a common factor on the left, giving dx dt multiplied by 2x times t, and that's all equal to 2 plus x minus 3t squared. And hence, dividing both sides by 2x minus t will then give us the required answer for dx dt. So recall that this was the chain rule we constructed at the start. We've now found each of those pieces of information. So the final step is to just substitute these three parts into the equation, which will then give us our answer for dz dt. So dz dt is dz dx, which we saw was 6t squared times x, multiplied by dx dt. So that's multiplied the expression we just found here, which was 2 plus x minus 3t squared, and that whole thing is going to be divided by the 2x minus t. And we then had to add on to that the partial derivative of z with respect to t, which we saw was 3t squared plus 6tx squared. So here's that answer, all tidied up just to be written on one line. So that is how we use the multivariate chain rule to find dz dt in this case.